Hello there, my name is Patty, and today I'll be watching Legacy Season 4, Episode 13, called Was This the Monster You Saw? And yes, the monster I saw was in fact this episode. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm like, I can already say that that was the monster I saw. No need to make this intro longer than it has to be. Let's go. Jesus! Are they speaking Latin? I was actually trained for this. I had Latin in high school for five years. Nothing stuck. <laughs> in the mouth. I didn't like that. You know, what's happening here seems quite obvious to me, Chad. Are we flirting? Yeah. I was gonna say, I was like, yay, she has her powers, but... Performance anxiety? Apparently, they're still not quite there yet. You are still the most powerful person I've ever met. Mmm. Okay, met you. now let me stop she you right there. Doc S is coming back too. He'll be able to help. Will he? Things are going to get better for all of us. Will they? Where do we go from here? I don't know. You tell me. Turn right. What? Right. <laughs> Nothing makes my anxiety worse than someone giving directions too late. Hate it. Absolutely. Like, what Aurora is doing right now, she would be out of the car in no time. Keep going straight for a few more miles. Keep going straight? Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Do it again. Does this mean you're my sober buddy? Not sure how long that's gonna last. Are we certain a surprise party is the best idea given his current condition? Cleo's right. <laughs> well, Jesus, where did she come from? You're gonna give him a heart attack. Can you stop hiding now? You're gonna give him a heart attack? It's so true, Hope. Yeah. You are very old and you need to play your age and not 12. You are an old lady. Surprise! Success! Is it me? Am I the drama? We have a problem beyond the cane, obviously. Like one second and she's already calling him out for his little cane. If I could, I'd probably try to kill you for murdering my daughter. I'd like to see you try, actually. <laughs> Attempted murder. My actions don't require any defense. In the same situation, I'd do it again. Because I'm gonna need an army to face these gods, and yours is the only one with the appropriate skill set. I have an army. We have a Hulk. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. And guess what's inside it? Can you imagine being brought before a doctor or a monk who sticks you in ice baths? Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? The way mental health has been displayed on legacies, especially with Lizzie, is very disappointing. It's very harmful to constantly tell us as an audience she's broken. She's broken, she's damaged. I do think that her breaking the Sirebond so easily kind of sucked, but at the same time, I like the idea that something that she sees as a bad quality within herself, where she's like, I'm damaged, I'm broken. But the fact that, you know, she now could take that as a weapon and it helped her break a sire bond, I think that's very cool and inspiring, just saying. And these two can really learn a lot from each other. I definitely said it last episode, but this team up is something that I am actually very invested in. Likely that one of us will die if we help you? No, I said some. It could be <laughs> all of you. Collateral damage. The way she doesn't care. Love it. There's been nothing super about this squad since I left. I mean, look around you. Lizzie and Josie are gone. Where's Jock Boy? She Wolf. Are they plotting another attack against me? Calling Ethan and Finch. Jock Boy and She Wolf is very funny and I love it. But we need to talk about that. You can clearly tell that something has been cut. This entire scene is just not it. Her voice sounds a little different, like maybe there was a sentence in between. Where's Jock Boy? She Wolf. Are they plotting another attack against me? I think it's fairly obvious. You can just hear the slight change in her voice. And what also really gives it away is that this entire scene has so many different cuts. Um, which is a technique that we in post-production implement 
when something, when we want to cover up our tracks. Like we alter audio that then doesn't line up with something a character is saying. So obviously we show another character and we just cut between perspectives. And I think it's fairly obvious that in this case, in this scene, we're cutting between Caleb and um, an outer perspective and then back to hope way too often. I am qualified to talk about this. This is my day job. I work a nine to five in production, in a production company. This is what I do every day. This is a little discourse and I think we're gonna have some more of those. You're a muse, why don't you inspire a halfway decent question? Her powers don't work. Hope, you're allowed to drag everyone but her. So you all can suck it because I'm not going anywhere. You can all suck it. And, uh, oh yeah, and we have a god. Just like, no big deal. And the gods you speak of are my extended family. I know them all too well. All too well. And you were tossing me the car keys. Fuck the patriarchy. Keep the ground. Points were made. <laughs> they said no. E. The German jumped out. E is our... Ew. What was that? That was the most obvious cut that I've ever seen. <laughs> Excuse me a minute. <laughs> Don't do my car like that. Well, monsters will still be after you. Or would you rather them come back to the school? Oh, no. Angst. Chain me up. Okay, so he's into that kind of stuff. My plan makes perfect sense, Jed, so what is your hesitation? He loves you. Thank God for the gaze. What's up, bro? Yeah, that totally helps. I'm just like, can you not be gay for five minutes? They're cute. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> I feel embarrassed. There's no way. This show got me with a jump scare. I hate it. I'm embarrassed. I hate myself for that. This is really embarrassing. God, it's my turn to be the worst. Jedediah, I need you. Hey, I know you can hear me, Jed. So I was gonna say, I was about to say, is that like a fetus Jed? Are we finally getting a backstory? Nothing scares us. I think he turned when he was pretty young, right? Did he accidentally kill his friend? What the hell are we gonna do now? Father. Oh boy, daddy issues. That's never good, trust me. Got all these daddy issues. Describe what attacked you again. Pennywise. What is that hideous thing? Your mom. <laughs> A clown? I finally got my part on Legacies. Finally inserted myself in there. A dream come true. <laughs> How does one kill a clown? Actually, I'm already pretty much dead inside, so there's not much you have to do. You can start by taking away the only thing that brings them happiness, which was Hosey. <laughs> it is your fault that Jed is hurt. He's so protective. Protective boyfriend, Ben. You know, I have a better plan. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the Ben Jet death trope. <laughs> They're dying next to each other. To learn to be alone, to like the person you are enough to spend time with her. Do you know Isn't it a saying that you have to love yourself before you can love someone else or before you can love another person? Because in that case, um, I'll die alone. So which clown are we talking about? Because I see three. <laughs> Four. I'm here too. I only see one. No, oh, nice comeback, Wade. Didn't think you had it in you. This time it didn't scare me because actually Wade's comeback just really scared me even more. Hi, Georgie. <laughs> that was close. Do you have any idea what you're asking me to do? There you have it. This show is just not redeemable. Her deepest and darkest regret or like something that made her like 
I don't remember the definition for it, is killing bird boy. Um, no, I'm sorry. We're once again making a storyline that should be hopes alone, that should focus on her journey as a character. And we're taking it and we're making it about a love interest again. What a load of crap. That's not how it happened. Ew! <laughs> Did they like mask his face? Like what is this CGI? No, they're not doing this to Danielle. Oh. After all we've been through. What about us? What about everything we've been through? You know what though? The CGI on him looks good. Now I'm realizing why this episode is so bad. Cause they wasted all of it on him. Hope you're hungry. You're telling me those are all the sins you got? I was actually expecting a truckload. <laughs> See, when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. Caleb was right. This is my style. <laughs> Yet you weren't the one using it. You're not real. Keep is that like that. the manifestation of her humanity? I'm your humanity. And I'm trying to return. If you don't listen, because I am, and always will be, your better half. Love that she's wearing the necklaces, and you know, as much as I love unhinged no humanity hope, um, it's nice seeing seeing humanity hope being so like clear and being like, no, I am good, and that's like my better half is when I'm good. Oh, it reminds me of Josie saying hope, hope is strong, is strong. And hope is and she's good. good. It all leads back to Hosey. I hate it here. Pick up that damn bat and use it. Or I will. When I said I wanted his backstory, I didn't want that. Oh. And he tried to make me hurt a friend. Oh, he tried? He didn't do so it? So I killed him instead. The daddy issues are real. <laughs> Is That's why I've been wanting to talk to you. Are they? Ever since are you they, told me your story. Are they about to kiss right to now? Tell you that I, I know how you feel. I feel like a proud mother. I love same sex relationships. <laughs> so much for accountability. Two shots of vodka. Oh shit! Little, but we don't need to believe them when they say we're broken. Yes, thank you, dude. They stay the fuck alive. Cause I have fucking had it up to here now. So I keep telling the men around here, that is not my style. Yes, Cleo, go off. Man. Do not stand in front of me. Fight beside me. They're so cute. Just wanted to bring you something to eat. Then bring me a human. There's no going back if <laughs> you tried the real stuff. Tell me why I shouldn't throw this drink in your bitch ass face. Damn it, MG, I told you. Surprise, bitch. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah. Okay, um, let's talk about what happened in this episode. Um, first off, we finally got a backstory for Jed, which is something that I've been waiting for since the pilot, basically, or since he was introduced. I'm very glad that we got it. I think, you know, it adds so much more depth to his character, also especially towards his early season's bullying. It just, you know, the pieces are coming together. Talking about Jed, we should talk about Ben too. We got our first kiss, which is very cute. Um, they are giving <laughs> Cleo my, my bestie. Um, I love that she is stepping up so much. I really love that she is bringing so much fresh, fresh wind into this whole situation, especially since the twins are kind of gone. Obviously Josie is gone, but Lizzie is doing her own thing. I really think having Cleo around is important and giving her the storyline that she has 
as much as I hate people exploiting her for her powers, I really like her stepping up and realizing that she also has power beyond her actual powers, you know what I mean? Let's talk about Alaric, um, he's still there, um, I don't want him there, um, let's move on. Lizzie Aurora, great storyline, like I said, I think these two are a very interesting combination, I'm very excited to see where it goes. It it's already pretty good, I'm very glad that we're finally kind of taking the mental struggles that especially Lizzie on this show has and we're finally not calling it broken or damaged or uh, unfixable or whatnot because that's something that has bugged me so much when it comes to mental health representation on legacies and I'm actually happy that we're kind of taking it as a strength too especially when you look at her breaking the sire bond yeah um let's talk about hope um I, I'm smiling because I have to think of the bad CGI. It's it's bad, y'all. Um, I don't like the idea of having two hopes of... You know, I realize what they're doing. Um, they're using two hopes to show us her humanity versus her no humanity um, manifestations. But I, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it for some reason. It's... I don't know. Probably because the CGI makes it look so fake that I cannot take it seriously. Um, but I think we could have done that differently, somehow. Um, we also know that a lot of the actors from the originals are coming back for like a hallucination storyline. I really need um, the CGI to be better when they're there, and I really need the people responsible not to touch them and butcher their characters. I don't think I'm gonna talk about it anymore, the CGI this episode, the cuts, just the overall editing. I've actually realized or heard the little audio things in previous episodes and I did mention it once or twice but I never included it in a finished final video because I figured it was, you know, maybe just me. But like I said, I work in post-production and that's what I do every day and it's so obvious to me and this episode especially. There were a couple of moments there where just listen to the voices and sometimes when the camera cuts away you can just tell that the voice sounds a little different which is not bad but if it is so obvious that I can tell even though I'm just here to enjoy and watch the show then it's bad and maybe you should rethink it just saying need to say though the episode overall felt okay to me like it wasn't a great great episode but it also wasn't a bad bad one it was like a solid midfield position to me personally well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully enjoying this video. I hope I could tickle some smiles out of you today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.